well, let's say I'm an artist, uh, happen to be a tattoo artist, um, but in my heart of hearts, I'm a martial artist. Uh, but uh, I've been tattooing for about 18 years, on and off. Uh, started in 1992 in Puerto Rico, in Hong Kong. My instructor there, the guy that taught me how to tattoo was Indio Gansev Jr. And uh, his father was a tattoo artist. Um, and it actually happened kind of by accident. Uh, I was uh, working out there with a cousin, unloading frozen uh, trucks, uh, meat trucks coming from Miami. I have to uh, load them up, set them up on these, uh, these skids. I actually got pneumonia, got sick for like three weeks. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And um, after that, I decided I need to do something with my art. So I went to actually get a tattoo for a birthday. And every time I went to this guy's tattoo shop, I heard it was Jose Juan, it was always closed. I was like, what's going on? This guy's shop is always closed, it's never open. I come in, I came up three different times during the day, at night, the guys always never happened. So I finally went there and uh, one of the guys that had a place next door to him and says, look, you gotta come these days because these are the only days that he works. He says the shops are hours in the front, but he doesn't really go by those hours. So uh, he says, come back and he should be here this day. So I came back, I talked to him, met him, seemed to be a real nice guy, and uh, I actually begged him for a job and he told me no. He says, hey, son, I'm not gonna hire you. you know, I'm really not interested in teaching anybody how to tattoo. I was pretty disappointed. And then uh, I started to walk away. Halfway going down the hill in Los Angeles, I was in the calle Sol going down the hill, Cabo, Cabo Hill. Something told me to go back and ask him. So I, you know, I was, I guess it was a little voice inside. So I went back and I asked him again, you know, and said, come on, you gotta give me a break. You gotta do, please, I'll do anything you want. I'll clean up, I'll do your laundry, whatever you wanna do. And he, he gave me the opportunity. He says, all right, come next week. So that's how I sort of started tattooing. And I was with him for about eight months, and then um, we parted our ways. Uh, some went down, and uh, then soon later, I think the next next five months, he actually died of cancer. He was dying of cancer. He didn't tell anybody. So he kept that to himself, and I found out later. And then the the month that he had passed away, I had actually come to New York, and I found out later. And I was here. That was in 1993, in January. I went to the high school of art design, and. Uh, I got into that because I was I tried out for the program because I wanted to go to a specialized high school. So I made a portfolio and tried out. I actually tried out for music and art, and uh, uh, I think it was an FIT at that point. There was a uh, there was a high school. I forgot the name of the high school. But anyway, uh, tried out for that. So I went to high school of art and design because they had cartooning, uh, comic book illustration and stuff like that. Made it through. Then I applied to New York City Technical College and took art and advertising design. I did that for about um, about a year and a half, almost two years. I had a lot of family problems at that time, so I had to wind up dropping out and getting a job and working. But some of the my most professional experiences were in that year and a half of college. One thing I learned, and I'll never forget it, I went into class late one time. It was uh, I, I, would, I think it was in there like maybe 30 seconds late to class. This is how anal this teacher was. I walked in, I was 30 seconds late. She said, you're late. I said, I'm 30 seconds late. If you call that late, she says, I don't care. It says, this is my time. You see, when it's your time, then you understand it. I didn't get what she uh, what she was trying to say. Basically, she was saying that time is money, you know? So your time is money, your time is important to you. So if it's important to you, you gotta be there on time. And then you walk in, even if you're five minutes early, you're still on time, you're not early. I wasn't confident in myself that I could draw, but really because I practiced. I mean, my whole thing was that I loved it so much that I practiced maybe 10, 12 hours a day. You know, kids are outside playing and doing their thing. I was in my room drawing, drawing, drawing constantly, always doing stuff and towards my art career. So in that way, I knew I was gonna be successful. I just didn't know what it was gonna be exactly. I wanted to be a comic book artist, but that didn't work out. You know what I mean? So I was like, what am I gonna do now? And then that's when I went off to Puerto Rico and did that whole thing. And then by chance, the whole tattooing part came in. And um, you know, I started working at it and I said, I wanted to be the best at it. Because that's the ultimate medium. You know, you're drawing on people's skin. It's living. It's not sitting there. You know, it's moving around. It's talking to you. You know, it's doing all types of things. So for me, that was the ultimate thing to being an artist. Having the X to the Port Authority, I rep mines, ROX while I'm in the VX to Greenpoint. Last man holding PS, Evan Angelus, grew up bumping cannabis, selling cannabis, 
Well, I became an analyst in the corner. Righteous nigga with an average persona. 5% prima donna. The rest is a horror. Medal of honor and rap, cause my vision is broader. First official on the track, so the lyrics is harder. BS is the backbone, I done came to fall. This blue behind the G4, and the game's my target. Hip hop, new weekend, gaining respect like fun. Not to mention the pressure coming from Boston, son. I'm Boston, son. Got Dorchester in my brain, JP in the veins. Rock Sperry in my heart. If a bitch gas, I guess what she's saying is false. Call my gun a milio, the way the pistol sparks. I rip apart any beat that head towards me. The shit for HP in the BX. OT in the beam. Riding and widen. Back to the beam. Take me so I appreciate the practice, 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 practice. That's it, practice. If you love it, you do it all the time. When you sleep, you dream about it. You know what I mean? That's probably the best way to do it, just to keep working at it. Uh, go to an art school or an art program. If you can get apprenticed by a tattoo artist, great. If they'll take you on. Um, more than likely, you have to be a slave for about a year or two, because um, you know it's it, it's you're gonna learn how to survive for the rest of your life being an artist doing that. Secondly, I would say to keep drawing. If you want to be a good tattoo artist, you have to be an artist, not just a person who can copy stuff and uh, you know trace things. You know what I mean? You have to be able to create on the spot. And having that art ability and background will make you a better tattoo artist. And second is, you know, the third or second or third is the, the, the ethic of keep at it, you know, trying to be better at it, ask questions. You know, some people will be annoyed, but if if uh, you go to a tattoo artist and you're asking questions, he seems agitated, you know, if you're asking the right questions, he's going to let you know, usually, if he's a good guy. You know, most, most artists will, not all, some of them will just tell you to buzz off. You're gonna be competition in the future. You have to be a professional. I mean, always and with everything you do, if you want to be good at something, man, there's a saying that uh, actually it's a quote I think from Bruce Lee, and I don't know where he got it from. It says, "An educated person educates themselves." So you know, if you want to be a professional, you have to act like a professional. You know, you have to want to be a professional. Everything you do must be professional. You know, I mean, you have to think in that way that your clients are the most important thing to you. And that, that's how I think of it. For the hate content, riding and wiving back to the beam, taking it to Mattapan and the very retreats. Blue hell lab driving through Dorchester, stopping in JP. Girls is hella. Hey yo, what's good with y'all girls, yo? What's up with y'all? Yo, this is that new first movement shit, bro. You wanna pick this up for you? Take this to the crib, bump that shit, it's your boy O. You know what I mean? Holla. I step through Boston streets in my ACGs. Black and white two tones, matching T, the army, scope with the infrared beam, well series fitted on.